Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to learn about the Next.js code example with the MySQL. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here we have the code base. Okay, so first of all in the app. Okay, in the app, we have to create db.js file for the connection. So here we have required MySQL and create connection. You have to put host user password database and here we are going to check whether the connection success or not if error then error connecting to the mysql database if everything goes well then connect it to the mysql database okay then export the db okay next step go to now we have to create the apis okay so i have just created the pages column okay so here we have the routes page okay and here we are creating the two APIs. First one is fetch that is get another one is post one. Okay. To add the data to the database. Okay. So let's check via postman that is that working or not. Same with the ID. Those require the parameter ID. I have created another one that is ID in the routes that whatever the data requires the ID. I have separated it from the route.js. So here in the get request like suppose I want to get the product by ID so I need to pass the params and here it will fetch by ID same with delete same with the put because here we are updating the data right so let's go and check with the postman and see the detailed instruction step by step so first pages then API then products okay so this is our route So let's create that one. So I will use this. Okay, let's use this one. So pages slash API slash product. I think it's product or products. Let's have a look. So it's products. Okay, so routing is depends on it. Products make it a post request, make a body request. So here we require the data is so here we require name description and the price so add any data that you you can make it so here i have add name okay then i will add the iphone product then we, we required name price and then description Okay, description iPhone 12 good product. Okay, so let's try to send this and the database I have already created with the ID, name, description, and the price. Okay, so let's try to send this and you can see it's created. Let's go and check here the select data now iPhone, iPhone 12 is added over here okay so what i have done so this is export first we have used db then next server we are getting the next response okay so first we require the name description and the price await request dot json so whatever we have we have request the json then log the name description and the price if i go over here you can see that it logged over here right so we are using the now db.query insert into the product okay then we are setting the name description and the price okay then we are returning the json with the last insert id okay if something goes wrong then it will go to the next response json then we have an error dot message and status 500 okay so this is the post request okay now we have a get request now so here we are just fetching the data from the product Okay, so let's add two, three products and check iPhone 14 price would be 18 and make it like this and send this record. So two data should be inserted over here. You can see. Okay, now we have to fetch their data. So make a get request and send the data. Now you can see the two records are fetched successfully. Okay, so what we have done for the get request. So here we have await new promise select star from product 
and if error then reject else resolve and re just send the response.json in the results okay and if something goes wrong it will go to the catch block okay so this is the get request and the post request okay next move to the id parameter okay so first we want to get the data on the behalf of the product id so this is the get request again select star from product where id should be so let's send the parameter id over here okay so here we go with the products let's send the id like suppose we have a one id so here you can see that we have a one id let's try to send this okay value is not json serializable so whatever the data we are fetching let's we have to check okay what the data they are getting you can no no this is not that one connected let's try to send this Here we will check that one, but why this is showing the serializable part. I need to cross verify this. Okay. The next one, we have a delete request and then we have update request. Okay. So have uh, update request. Just we have to put the request over here. So this is, we have to make it put request. Okay. This is put request, right? And uh, body we have to send. Suppose I want to update the product one. Okay, so I will here I would add Samsung one. Okay, let's try to send this. This is updated. And if I go over here, you can see that first record is replaced by the Samsung. Okay, whatever data we have, it is updated for this record. Okay, so here we have the put request. Right, await, update the product set where ID should be data and the params ID then we are just returning the data with id params id else if something goes wrong then it will go to the catch block okay this is a put request now we have a delete request okay so here delete from the product the simple query we have id we have to pass the id and it will return that the product it did successfully or status or something okay so let's see this one okay so i want to delete that product make a delete request Okay, let's try to send this. Delete it. If I go over here, first record is deleted. Right. So this is, you can see that we have a full-fledged CRUD operation that is workable. And let's make a front-end front -end page also and a call one of the API to that one. Okay. And first create some of the records so that we can fetch the data. Post request. Then make this. Send this request. So this is added. The records are added over here. And let's go to the front end to call one of the API. So here we have created the pages.js and here we are calling the product API. Okay. So here how to call this API. We have used the Exios. Then we have a home. Then we call the Exios over here. And whatever data we are, we are going to map this and show like this. Product.name, product.description and the price. Okay. Let's save this. And uh, here we go with the route open link here you can see the data is fetched successfully over here right so this is how the crowd operation works any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day